Hello everyone and welcome either to or back to my channel Just Jade. I had a few jobs that I needed to get done today so I decided to write a little to-do list. I find putting the jobs that you need to do down on paper is much more effective because you can tick it off and it helps you to prioritise the most important things. And it is visual reassurance that as you go along each task is being complete. On my list today is to do the laundry, put the clothes away, a general clean of the kitchen and to dust the living room, dust the banister and vacuum. So let's begin by loading up the washing machine. As this is a mixed wash, I will just be leaving the temperature to 40 but putting it on an hour long wash using bold 3 in 1 pods. And as always, I tend to use one scoop of vanish. So the laundry is now being washed and I can tick that off my list. Next it's time to put the clothes away and I use my two separate laundry baskets which as I have said before are perfect because they're very easy to store away because they're collapsible and foldable and I use one for the stuff that goes downstairs and one for the stuff that goes upstairs. Naturally, certain areas of the kitchen are going to build up more grime and grease, such as the sink and the oven. So for these areas I'll be using Silip Bang, and for the other areas I'll be using Method anti back Silip Bang is really good for cutting through the grime and the grease. It has a really nice, fresh smell. However, you wouldn't want to use it all over the kitchen because it's a bit overpowering, so that's why I like to use my method anti-pack.
Now that task has been complete, I can tick it off my list and start dusting the living room. I start by cleaning off the cobwebs of the ceiling and the walls. There is something very therapeutic about seeing the cobwebs come off the ceiling and the walls and knowing that your house is very clean and fresh. Now that the ceilings and the walls are all clean, I can move on and start using my pledge. I use pledge on the TV and the mirrors. I start with those areas first because you want to keep your microfiber cloth as clean and dry as possible and then you can move on to other areas such as the coffee table and the dining table.